Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. This time we are going to be practicing our painting and spray painting skills. We're gonna use the skills that we've learned so far to make a background and then paint in the foreground a painting. Uh, I'm gonna make something from Rick and Morty and it's not gonna be actually from the series, just something imaginative. Uh, so the background's gonna be sort of realistic, then the foreground's gonna be like the cartoon style, so it's gonna be a mix of the two. So, let's get to painting. Ooh, it's 25% more. Okay.
we are done. Here is the end result. Uh, in previous videos, I talked about using this technique as a background for other pictures. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. So I did my background. Uh, I am getting a lot more comfortable using spray paint and, and the techniques that go along with it. Uh, and then I wanted to put something in the foreground. So what better subject than Rick and Morty? Um, I did notice after I finished his forehead's a little tilted one way. Uh, I could go back and fix it, but it's not a big deal to me. Uh, I didn't show cutting out a stencil because I figured there's like a bajillion of those tutorials on YouTube probably. You just take a piece of poster board, draw whatever it is you want to mask off, and then cut it out. Um, so that's how I did the, the smoke effect. And then I just took a paint pen and did the little reflection off the glass on the space shuttle uh, spaceship. And um, I sprayed a little black over here to make it look like smoke or something up in his face. Hopefully you will try and make one of these yourselves and show your friends and they'll be amazed at your Rick and Morty drawing skills. Um, maybe you'll get some. Hooray! Then they're going to ask you how you made that. You can give them one of these. Tell them much props. M Morty, get back here. You Get back here now. Yeah, that was my Rick. Sorry. Not that good.